very much for, uh, for coming. On the 22nd of February 2019, seven men were camping on the riverbanks of the Murray River. And at night time, they decided they would do a nighttime cruise in two dinghies. So having get, gotten into the dinghies, they travelled downstream towards Swan Reach. And at some point, a, a boat crash occurred. This boat crash resulted in the death of Chad Gill, a 37-year-old, and seriously and permanently injured Glenn Justice, a 42-year-old. An initial investigation, which was finalised earlier this year, resulted in a 41-year-old man from Williamstown being charged with attempting to pervert the course of justice and is currently before the Adelaide Magistrates Court, scheduled to reappear on the 25th of August 2020. As a result of these charges, Operation Veritas has been, uh, was established by the Berry CIB to review the initial investigation and seek new and compelling lines of inquiry about the, set, the facts surrounding the boating to crash and the veracity of witnesses' accounts given in the initial investigation. On Wednesday the 12th of August 2020, Operation Veritas detectives arrested a 41-year-old male from Lindock for attempting to pervert the course of justice and he's been bailed to appear in the Wakery Magistrates Court on the 21st of September 2020. Operation Veritas detectives will be working with specialist police and with recognised scientific experts such as forensic engineers and geospatial location experts to recreate the collision in detail and the causative factors surrounding it. Attempting to pervert the course of justice is a serious offence with a maximum penalty of four years in prison. Police also have the responsibility to prepare a coronial report so that our state coroner can objectively assess all the relevant factors surrounding this tragic event and, where appropriate, make any recommendations to ensure that it doesn't reoccur. We're asking the public to come forward with any knowledge or any information about that crash and call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. Somebody knows exactly what happened on the night of that crash, notwithstanding the men involved. Surely it's time to respect the memory of Chad Gill and the permanent injuries suffered by Glenn Justice to help determine an accurate account of what actually happened. The family of those two men are stuck with an unresolved, incomplete, an uncertain fact about what happened and why their lives have been so devastatingly changed. Closure is important. Closure is fitting and it's necessary. Operation Veritas will continue investigating the boat crash and further arrests are highly likely. We urge people to come forward and help police to bring this investigation and the facts surrounding this tragic boat crash to its inevitable conclusion. Thank you very much. What Any questions? To, uh, to, uh, the they're, 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 facts, they're, they're facts of the brief and it's subject to the court, so I can't actually go into the details of that. Um, suffice to say, um, attempting to pervert the course of justice is exactly as it would sound. No, he's not. Was he in yes. How many people involved in So seven, seven, seven men, one is deceased. How many people were in the boats? Seven. Okay. They were all in the boats. So is there any impression of people who weren't there on the trip who were in the boats to perhaps know something? I, I, I'm, I'm quite sure that there are people who were not involved on the night who are aware subsequently of information that would be very uh, useful to us. But, uh, but not only that, uh, there are people who may well have seen that boat and the group of men during the day um, uh, around the, the campsite they were at or around the Swan Reach um, Murray River area. And really we, we, we want anybody and anybody who may have any sort of information to call us on at Crime Stoppers because every little bit of information helps. Well, 
it, it, it could be how many people, um, uh, their behaviour, uh, either in the campsite or on the river, um, what they were actually doing if they were seen within Swan Reach. Um, just any, any information about them, their decorum, uh, their, uh, the, the, the feeling people got about them, just anything at all that, uh, that maybe could just help us move forward and actually get a, uh, get a, a, a proper account of what actually occurred. I'm referring to any behaviour. Is there any suggestion that there's anything more than you know, just uh, you know, mucking around that went wrong? Is there any suggestion there's anything more issues? I think if, at this stage, I, I don't think that we're looking at anything um, intentional, um, but something has gone wrong, tragically wrong, and at the moment we're not getting the correct version. Again, because it's subject to charges in the courts, it's hard for me to actually go into the details about what actually um, is, the, is the perversion of the course of justice. Um, but it's safe to say it's spoken to. They've all been spoken to. No, they're, 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 the Operation Veritas is very much an active police investigation. Yes. Can't tell you. Yes. No. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.